Hey Scorpios, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. All right, so we're going to get into another channel message reading for today. So I hope you guys enjoy the other readings today. Take what resonates with you, leave the rest. Keep in mind if you need a personal reading, as this is a general reading for Scorpio, go to my website, intuitivegoddesstarot.com, okay? All right, Spirit, Angels, Gods, Universe, I call upon you now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the message? Please protect my energy as I open the spiritual portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Archangel Michael, I sent you step forward into this reading to shield and protect me from any monitoring spirits or dark forces. Please and thank you. Okay, so the card that flipped out was Honeymoon. Oh, child, we have multiple here. So we have honeymoon here, which talks about either you could be attending someone's wedding or going through a honeymoon phase in a current situation. We have here, open up your heart. It will help you to attract more love, okay? We also have intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. And last but not least, we have guardian. A lost loved one is watching over you, okay? So we have different situations going on here, okay? So for you, Scorpio, these first three cards is talking about love, relationships, spirit is wanting you to open up your heart so you can attract more love into your life. There's something going on here with intimacy, some type of sexual energy. This could be someone who's craving intimacy from you. Some of you guys may have just met someone recently. It's a kind of a fresh relationship, like a new relationship sort of being. But let me check this out to see what we got going on with these four cards, okay? All right. That cloth keeps moving on my table. All right, tell me about how you move for Scorpio. So I'm hearing love is in the air, like a fresh person, a new individual. Or some of you guys will be going through the honeymoon phase. You know, the first three to six months of a relationship is exciting. But let's see. Tell us about honeymoon for Scorpio. Thank you. Okay, so the four of wands. Okay. Some of you guys, I don't know why I heard marriage. Like someone may be leading into getting very serious, like a marriage here. Someone could be voicing their opinion. Someone who may have an Aries Venus. That they want to be with you, they want to be a family, get married, you know, or this could be someone that you meet that you have a new relationship with that is possibly your twin flame. Hmm. Definitely could be a masculine emperor, Aries energy, so I'm getting strong Aries. Hmm. Tell me about open up your heart. So that is actually a message from the universe to open up your heart, Scorpio. We've seen this card before, so... Spirit is wanting someone here that who's a part of my soul tribe that you're needing to open your heart so you can bring more love into your life. Two of Wands. I heard looking, like you've been searching. Some of you guys have been searching, looking for the right person. You're willing to take that leap of faith. You're willing to almost like try a different path or this is Spirit telling you to try something different. Hmm. Maybe travel a little bit more, meet more people. Leave the past in the past. Follow your intuition when it goes to jumping out there into the world to attract the love that you desire. Someone can have an Aries Mars. What is intimacy? Thank you. All right. So we have the high priestess. Mm. Someone may have a Pisces moon. Page of worlds, page of cups, chariot in the reverse. Hmm. It seems like someone may be giving you solid treatment, but deep down inside, they want that chemistry, that intimacy with you. This may be someone that is trying to communicate that to you on a telepathic level. Hmm. But I'm gonna clarify to get a little bit more. Tell me about guardian. So for here on this guardian card, this talks about a lost loved one. So someone who may have passed away recently, you know, you guys know my mother passed away. 
but you guys may have experienced some type of death, a grandfather, mother, friend. But there's a guardian angel, a lost loved one that is watching over you, Scorpio. All right, let's talk about it. Tell me about this guardian. <laughs> Tell me about this guardian that's watching over Scorpio. So Ace of Cups in reverse. Mm. I'm hearing like you're not thinking straight, but there is a particular, possibly a water sign, guardian angel that you may still be grieving over. You don't feel the same. Kind of like you're still sad. Emotionally, you don't feel the same. This could have been a relationship you had with someone, a partner that may have passed away. You having like gloomy days, like you don't feel like yourself. Hmm. Hmm. There's a water sign here. Seem like someone you may have never reconciled with. Hmm. You may be suppressing your feelings that the loss of this loved one, but they wanting you to know they're watching over you. So it's a water sign here. All right, so let's go back to honeymoon. Of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Like, comment, share, subscribe. What is the Four of Wands and Honeymoon for Scorpio? Four of Wands and Honeymoon. The Lovers. Oh, this is a new relationship here. A strong twin flame connection. Some of you guys may have already met this person. Someone can have... Uh, Gemini in their chart. You're coming across someone that's going to be your gang to your gang. You guys are meant to be together. Meant to come across this path together. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Tell me about the two of wands and open up your heart. why i'm getting when i saw the ace of swords in reverse i'm gonna go back to that one tell me about open up your heart and two of wands for scorpio the temperance sagittarius i'm hearing things gonna come in divine timing and there's a time period here believe that the love is gonna come to you that you will attract more love you just gotta take that action to put yourself out there yeah, I feel like some of you guys, yeah, this is you, Scorpio. You've been waiting for the right person to come into your life. You're trying to be patient, keeping yourself open to the future. You're like waiting for your shift to come in for a new lover, a new person. Yeah, in the meantime, a lot of you guys may be relaxing or, you know, you're trying to let your mind be at ease, trying not to think about it anymore. Yeah. Kind of like letting it come into you. Wow. Yeah, I feel like you guys been waiting on this for some time. It's been a struggle. Someone here has a strong Aries placement. All right, tell me about intimacy and high places. I heard from this card, be patient. Your luck is going to come to you. It's going to come at the right time. At this time, while you're waiting for new love to come into your life, this is the time to get yourself more balanced, more stable. Keep your energy calm. Control your emotions. Yeah. All right. High Priestess and Intimacy. Oh, too many. What is High Priestess and Intimacy for Scorpio? Someone here can have Pisces in their chart, but Knight of swords in reverse so this is someone who wants you on an intimate level but they're kind of like someone here is giving you the silent treatment they're not taking action they're not coming forward they're not even telling you what they really feel deep down inside someone is being very stubborn towards you and holding back yeah the four of pentacles here nine of wands mm. someone could be a capricorn sun hmm Someone is like holding back from you. 
We have Pisces or Cancer here or Air Sign. Mm. Wow. They're not taking this action. Someone is not following their heart, what they really want. Tell me about this Guardian Angel and Ace of Cups in reverse. Oh, the devil. Oh, jeez. Oh, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Oh, my goodness. I'm hearing you reflecting over the good times, the relationship, the family, where you feel stable, secure. And again, this could be like a mother, father, brother, whoever, but you know you have to move on from this. This, the devil in the Wheel of Fortune, almost like you feel like whatever this passing, this death that happened with the loved one who's watching over you, I don't know why I'm... Something happened to someone. And it seems like you feel like you may have this death or whatever it was. It set you back. I feel like this was unexpected. Mm. You feel so discontent. Un it's like an uneasy feeling. Mm. Someone here may have been fighting or could be you, Scorpio, fighting with some inner demons when it comes to your emotions, like blocking them out or suppressing them in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Hmm. This is interesting here. The devil. Someone, mm, almost like a negative energy or a dark force took over someone who you lost. Could be drugs or alcohol or something toxic occurred here. This can be, you know, some type of an attack, a spiritual attack, like inner demons, or someone went through dark times. Mm. Or you may feel like that there are some inner demons that you're fighting right now. And it's causing you to be set back a little bit, almost like you're losing control. Someone could be trying to suppress their feelings and drinking and smoking and doing things to try to suppress the pain and the hurt but this situation this person who passed away it's almost like you feel like it's your karma that someone passed away or it's like a, a unfortunate situation it threw you off this was a complete setback yeah mm. some of you guys are like reflecting over like family pictures or the good times that you guys may have had. Mm. Wow, there's different situations going on here. So everyone take what resonates with that, okay? Hmm. Tell me more about this lover's energy. Clarify the lovers. Hmm. This is, yeah, this is a new relationship here that either you're going to come into or it's already happening. This is a new opportunity. You're starting over something fresh, taking a chance on this love situation. Mm. Letting your guards down, opening up. But someone here is like holding back here. They're not telling everything or allowing someone to get into their heart too deeply. Hmm. Um, 
All right, guys, so this is what I have. This is the last reading for tonight. Peace, love, and light. And like I said, it's, it's different situation that's going on here. So take what resonates with you, okay? Keep in mind, this is general. So if you need a personal reading, go to my website, intuitivegoddesstarot.com. You'll see all the links to all of my websites in my description, okay? All right, peace, love, and light, everyone. You guys have a good night, and I'm going to see you guys on tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.